Hi everyone, my name is Natalia. Welcome to Chotan webinar today entitled How COVID-19 Changed Maternity and Infant Care Market in China. And before we start, let me quickly introduce who we are and what we are actually doing. Chotan is your business school for China and we help uh, brands and companies to increase their expertise about Chinese market, modern Chinese consumers and how to actually promote products and services on Chinese social media and successfully launch effective KO campaign. And today, Han will tell us more about strategies and how basically companies uh, which are operating for maternity and infant care market can adapt to these changes and leverage on uh, different communication channels. And Wendy will share with us uh, more about interesting and successful case studies. And we can start right now. Yes, so thank you, Natasha and Fan. And now, um, today I will talk about um, the current market of the mom and baby and how the COVID-19 uh, changed the people's mindset and then changed the market. So let's take a look of the current market and before the COVID-19. And before we go ahead, I'd like to give some clarification because mom and baby are very um, wide concept in China. In, on a broader scale, it can refer to children below 12 years old. And in a narrow situation, it can also only refer to children aged 0 to 3. So here, let's look at the uh, broader scale first. And here you can see here the market, the trend of the market size. And as we can see here, um, the, uh, the market keeps growing since 2030 and reached uh, around 2.8 uh, trillion RMB last year. And also regarding the channels, um, of course, the uh, offline uh, stores still dominate the market, but the online stores, online retails uh, keeps growing and reach around 535 uh, million, <laughs> billion last year, uh, which is around 20% um, of the total sales. And here, let look and uh, take a look at the specific market which uh, uh, that children aged zero to three. So, um, as you can see here, the number of the newborn in China between um, twenty eight sixty to twenty eighty. So this, uh, so this results are total around five hundred million infants aged zero to three years old, and which in results in a nine hundred million. WeChat mom and baby users. So these users are caregivers who to their children. So basically they are their parents and grandparents, etc. etc. And also among these babies, most of their parents are post 90s and post 85s. And um, most of them are the first time to give birth. And also there are under uh, around 30% of parents, they are the second time to give birth and which uh, is encouraged by the policy. So here is the current situation before COVID-19. So what the market change and what should people change? So um, here is a research conducted by uh, in March last year and in in general this year. So basically it's uh, the preference of internet users in the parenting groups. So as we can see here, physical health, cross-border e-commerce, children education, and intelligent wearables are always the highest relevant content that uh, relate to parents. So here is uh, something we need to be aware that we all know uh, the COVID-19 um, May people pay more attention to the health, but for to these um, parents, so for Chinese parents, they always take care of uh, children's health and education. But the context have somehow have changed. So what kind of health are they focus more? So um, basically, um, Chinese parents pay more attention on the health of their children. And we can say it from two sides, so inside and outside. So from inside, they Mm, pay more attention on the body health. So to improve the, for example, the, the immunity to improve the health. So for example, to take more exercise, have a better style and have more um, health supplement to make sure their children have enough nutrition every day. So from outside, so they worry about the environment their children are living. 
So for example, um, they will sentinelize um, all the products their children touch and play, and they will buy the prote protective pads, uh, accessories, for example, knee pads, to protect them from dangerous. So basically, they won't protect them from dangerous, danger, um, virus, germs, etc., etc. And of course, in addition to this, quality and safety are always the top considerations when they buy products for their children. And, and apart from the product and the uh, health, um, Chinese parents are also paying more attention on the mental health of their children. So in China, uh, traditionally, Chinese parents um, take care of the, whether their children uh, eat well, whether they are hot or cold, uh, whether they perform well at school. But they seldom pay attention on their mental health and emotional issues. But during the COVID-19, because people were locked down um, at home, and they spend more time with their children and communicate more. And there is a research conducted um, in April um, that um, parents uh, said they are more willing to continue this kind of communication, even after COVID-19, to um, pay more attention on the emotional health of their children. Yes. So, how the um, consumer trend make the market change? Now, here is a trend of the market, um, I would say, in coming years. So, as we can see here, um, that the for the first time, the market size uh, they dropped a little bit because of the COVID nineteen. So, if you remember the last graph I show uh, at the beginning, the market uh, keeps growing since 20, uh, 2013. and Previously, previously, it is said that the market would reach over three trillion RMB by this year. But because of the COVID nineteen, um, the market haven't performed well. So, but people still believe that it will be uh, recovered and uh, reach the three trillion RMB by next year. But regarding the online sales, uh, it keeps growing uh, even during the COVID nineteen because basically people just can't go out and they purchase online. Yes, and regarding the product, as I said before, um, parents um, pay more attention or buy, buy more product regarding the health, regarding health. So uh, from two sides, the inside is the supplement, the health food, etc, etc. And from the outside to try to um, purchase more sentinel things and protective accessories. Yes, and regarding the channels, so still offline market will dominate uh, still, uh, stores will dominate uh, the markets, but um, the COVID nineteen accelerate the COVID and uh, the new retail emerging. So we see offline store, even they can't have the uh, online store right now, but they still need to have the ability to do online marketing and to offer online customer services, etc., etc. And regarding the uh, a more narrow um, market that, that children is zero to three. And here we can see um, the, it's predict that the number of mothers uh, who will give birth in 2020 would reach 153 million because of the policy and because of the COVID-19. Yes, and this would result at least 780 uh, billion market size, yes. And here is the overview of the market and the trend and how people changed. So, so that's it. Thank you. And now at, uh, Wendy will introduce more um, in the specific case and the trend we need to know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank you, Fine. And now we have known much about the market size and uh, the, some, the value has changed by the coronavirus for the parents. And now I will talk about more about the cases and analyze the trends from the case, case angle uh, to introduce uh, more information to you. So firstly, uh, undoubtedly, the epidemic has brought great impact and changes to parents' uh, concepts and life, and it has achieved some uh, like awareness upgrades in baby immunity and protection. And we can, oh, yeah, we can look at the left chart. Uh, firstly, we can see uh, how parents have changed. Yeah, we uh, a little bit conclude something from fun. Uh, so firstly, it improved. Eighty-six percent people think it has improved baby's daily nutrition and immunity. 
and uh, in this way, uh, they think the protection, the health of children and care have become the core of the parents' attention. So in terms of the purchase of baby and infant products, 83% people thought they had paid more attention to cleanliness. So more attention was paid to the purchase of products for disinfection, protection, such like the, the children's masks and also the alcohol sprays, something like this. Uh, and uh, many mothers were the first time to use the baby wipes and including the disinfection effect and uh, uh, hand wash and also the alcohol sprays and children's Masks are not only popular, this kind of products are not only popular during the ap epidemic, but uh, most of the people think they will stay uh, this kind of trend even after the epidemic. 64% people think it is very important uh, and will continue to be popular. Uh, so, and because everyone is at home every day during this time and has more time to communicate with their kids, with their parents. So 85 of parents feel that they should strengthen their uh, emotional connection with their children during this time. Uh, and now, so we, after we know this kind of value change, we can uh, see four new trends uh, from four aspects. The first one is new products, and the second one is new groups. Also, we will focus on the new channels and also the new content. So firstly, we will see what kind of products is needed in this market. Uh, of course, the keywords is immunity and protection, we have mentioned a lot. Yeah, so first from the left chart, we can see what parents paid the most attention to during the early stage of coronavirus. Uh, yes, and uh, of course, 81% think children's physical health is the most important. Uh, yeah, sure, in this case, uh, everyone cares about uh, their children's health. Uh, and also, 66, uh, 76 people think anti-epidemic matters for children is really needed. 71% uh, people think children's cleanliness is uh, I think uh, compared with the physical health, it's more like to wash your hands uh, and also to change your clothes uh, when you just get back home, uh, something like this. So uh, driven by this needs, we can see that brands has quickly adjusted to this, uh, this kind of requirements. So first of all, we can see the domestic brands called Inshufa. This is a brand that specializes in uh, baby diapers and wipes uh, just for babies. So during the epidemic, uh, in China, there was a period that uh, when no one can buy the masks, no one can, everywhere you cannot find a mask. So uh, it, uh, this, can, this, this brand has started to use their own manufacturers to uh, produce the masks. And uh, what he did, what it did really good, it is, uh, it was actually indicating that it was not a medical specification. But in fact, in that case, the mask could not be bought. So the medical um, uh, specification was already the second tier demand. Uh, after Ying Shubao has made this specification very clear in addition, uh, this is also a manufacturer that uh, it produced baby things. It, already safer uh, for the adults to use. So many people who cannot buy the masks, they turn to this uh, brand and to buy some uh, products from it. Mm, it got really much praises and uh, yes, people are happy about that, of course. Uh, and second, we want to talk about the mother's uh, food and mother's supplements uh, during uh, the coronavirus. Uh, actually, this is area seldom did people pay attention to because uh, uh, in, but in this uh, outbreak, many demands have uh, emerged. So here actually the milk powder, I think is uh, slightly different between the West and the China now. Uh, in China, not only uh, the not only the, the, the power, the poor people or uh, this kind of people or, or only uh, babies will drink the mask, uh, will, sorry, will drink the milk powder, but also the older people or some people, uh, adults, they want some uh, health supplements, nutrition. They will also drink the milk powder. And uh, so in this case, uh, the milk powder ma market have a, a bigger space than we think. So uh, the function were uh, actually now, last year there was an obvious trend in the domestic adult milk powder market. The functions were subdivided. Members of different ages groups uh, can get what they want. 
So uh, during this year's epidemic, mothers have more time to uh, go to do gym, go to uh, be slim and go to do exercise, go to do whatever they want. So in this case, they focus more on themselves instead of just uh, struggling between the office and the family. So uh, Nestle's needle milk powder, this is uh, its name, so went viral during this period. They held several cooperation with QLs on social media platforms uh, like the Red and also the Bilibili. Uh, they, they used the very popular topics such as DIY in kitchen and created a series of healthy and low fat menus based on this milk powder. So why young mothers like this milk powder? Because it does not have, uh, it is really low fat and the young mothers, uh, the new mothers want to lose weight and get back to slim after giving birth to a baby. So uh, now at the same time, uh, with the emergency of, uh, of return to work in the post epidemic period and the upcoming hot summer, NATO expect that the demand for low fat plus nutrition uh, healthy diets will increase, increase more in this period. So we see that after the epidemic improves, everyone's demand for sleeping and losing weight will increase um, very great, especially after resuming work and school, the office and the school dormitories uh, are more suitable for the use of uh, this kind of milk powder. And at the same time, this, this milk powder uh, has promoted and targeted a specific audience, which is the young mothers. So we have specially promoted this milk powder to the market. Uh, so this, I think this is a strategy and to attract the mothers. Uh, so now we can see that milk powder is not only for the babies, the mothers or even some adults can also have this kind of nutrition. So, uh, and the second we want to talk about is uh, the, the, uh, the high end brand milk powder for babies. Uh, in fact, the 2020 epidemic has accelerated competition in the milk powder industry. Uh, the competition has reached the stage of accelerated uh, elimination. Like uh, uh, there are some, some small brands will be, will be eliminated in this period and uh, there will be uh, more brands like the giant brands, uh, like we, we have just mentioned the Nestle, it will uh, really come out. So it can also be seen from the financial reports of major milk, uh, milk powder companies this year, that uh, the sales of high-end products of the brands are still increasing, but the growth of low-end or uh, middle-end products is weak or even declining. So why? And the performance of foreign brands is more obvious than domestic brands. So the reason is like um, people now, they need a kind of safe feeling. The giant brands and uh, the high end, the expensive, the more expensive, the higher price can give them the kind of feeling. So in this case, in the first quarter of 2020, just for example, Matt Johnson's revenue of his infant nutrition business is approximate, approximately uh, 6.5 billion RMB. And uh, the high-end product line showed a significant growth. Like in the first quarter of 2019, this, kind, uh, this product line only accounts for 30% uh, in its whole revenue. But in 2020, uh, this, uh, this number has reached more than uh, 46%. Uh, but the low-end milk powder is facing a downward trend. So in this epidemic, milk powder from many cross-border e-commerce companies uh, also have a, a, a problem that they cannot come, come into China. Uh, so this is also a good chance for uh, domestic milk powder, like uh, the, the, just like ED. This kind of uh, domestic milk powder have a chance to grow, grow faster. Yes, so after we know what kind of products we need, uh, and we have mentioned like the new mothers, we can see that uh, uh, a specific analysis about the group is, is, uh, is, is important. So now, yes. Firstly, in China, uh, it's very interesting uh, because I think it's not in China, maybe it's internationally. Uh, the, ch the child can be the center of the, the family. Uh, just from the, the left chart, we can see what is your family re relationship. Uh, 
44 percent people choose that the children is in the center of the family but however now we can see uh the 40 uh 54 people 54 percent of people think that it is double centered it means the parents plus children should be the the center of the family yeah so that is many people think that uh the post 90s and the post 95s even gradually become parents and this kind of group people they will love themselves more and they will care about themselves more uh this is not something bad i think this is really something positive for the market and so the parent child relationship becomes more balanced and the adult plus child double center model has started so and also we can know that the father's participant in this way has also gradually increased because we know uh, in some traditional family relationship father uh, does not do a very very uh, good job some sometimes just sometimes uh, and uh, but now it's uh, it, this situation has picking up so especially in terms of the, the eating the using or playing toys this kind of situations so uh, after we know that double center uh, situation has been emerging, we, we should know that different parents actually have different needs. So this can be basically divided into three, three types. So the first one is play partner parents. So this kind of parents, they uh, know how to care about themselves. They know how to release pressure. They have many other hobbies because they're really young to some extent, like, uh, uh, they have they, they like uh, losing weight, likes uh, watching TV series, outfit, uh, makeup, and also they, maybe they like even uh, cheating stars. So for this kind of people, uh, they really need the information should be accurate, simple, and interesting, and also interactive. So uh, such as brand advertising in the WeChat moments, one click purchase in WeChat mini programs. So this kind of very uh, simple process uh, can attract them uh, very strong. And also like some brands can have its own community as WeChat groups uh, can also have a great impact on the uh, decisions. So the second, the, the second type is the research parents. The research parents, uh, they like technology, uh, they really like to use some, some professional uh, knowledge to raise their children. They like to, uh, they positively will learn and they will uh, focus on more medical information, uh, the policy, uh, the nutrition, and some, some technology things. Yeah, so this kind of professional content and knowledge is the key. Zhihu, uh, a very big platform in China, are uh, their favorite platform. Uh, this kind of platform, there are many people that are reading, reading questions, and then uh, there are some, some like uh, the, the, the experts will answer the questions. So you will have more professional knowledge in these platforms. So, and also the WeChat official accounts are really popular among them. And the third one is traditional parents. Um, yes, maybe you think the traditional parents are not that important in a consumption way, but actually this, this kind of parents has really accounts great, greatly in China. Uh, they focused on the cost effectiveness and emotional communication. Uh, this, can, this, this group of people like they, um, they, they can sacrifice themselves and all for their children. Uh, they just to give the, to try to give them children the best and they uh, focus on uh, the, the, like the uh, buying apartments, uh, the schools and cooking this kind of things and they focus on the yes the cost effectiveness and emotional communication they love uh, group buying and the strong emotional connection breaths yes so uh, for this we know this kind of gr different groups and now we can based on what kind of target audience you have what kind of people do you want to uh, become your consumers and you can uh, put different kinds of campaigns and you can design different kinds of advertising and put it into different platforms based on your own requirements so uh, for uh, and I also have a really interesting case here uh, Mia is a really new uh, relatively new uh, platforms in China. It is a platform that um, uh, about mother and babies, of course, and uh, what it did really good is because it not only care about the mother and baby's physical health, it has a community called uh, 
uh, uh, called, uh, in the community, you can see anything you like and you do not have to use your real name. In this case, no one knows who you are. Everybody can say that uh, I, I feel really uh, unwell. I feel really not happy because, you know, most of the time the mothers will feel really stressed out and they are depressed. They're, um, they, they're confused about themselves, about the future. So in this case, this kind of function can really release their pressure and they can find uh, some, some people really similar to them. And actually, not only for the mental health, but also it, it has cooperated with some duty-free stores. And in these stores, mothers can buy whatever they want without going outside. And uh, uh, you, can, you, can resolve, you can solve your oil problems at just as, uh, in one app. So this is very attractive. Uh, yes, yeah. so after we know this kind of platform functions and we know the groups, how to uh, keep your audience flow, how to keep yourselves in this situation. So now we can see uh, more, uh, more about the new channels and the new formats. Firstly, we can see uh, the most, uh, uh, the biggest uh, mother and baby platform in China, the baby tree. Uh, I think the baby tree, yeah, uh, be since, since, the, uh, uh, since the end of the 2019, uh, the, the baby tree app has an average MAU of uh, 24.5 billion people. So it, this is a really big number. Yes, yeah, so, uh, and uh, in this coronavirus, it uh, put forward a really good uh, service. Uh, at the end of April 2020, baby tree launched the online reservation service in app for the coronavirus uh, testing. And the testing service covers 20 major cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, uh, these kind of cities are all covered in this service. So how to do this kind of registration? Firstly, you will fill in the specific information like your, uh, about yourself, of course, and uh, do the appointment. Uh, and after the appointment is confirmed, you can go to some specific hospitals and do the coronavirus testing. After 24 hours, you can get a digital report uh, from, uh, just from the, the app. So it is very convenient and it can, uh, it, it can save time and uh, make the danger, dangerous uh, the, the, at the, the least degree. Yes, yeah, so, uh, and uh, not only in this way, but also at the beginning of the epidemic, the baby tree cooperated with some, some foundations and began donating milk powder, wipes, toys, and other materials to hospitals in more than 10 provinces from the end of February. So with a total value of more than 8 million RMB. <laughs> and also in addition to donating offline supplies, uh, baby tree also opened a free application for children's masks and hand, hand sanitizers for users in areas such as Wuhan, where the epidemic was uh, really serious. Uh, and uh, also, during the epidemic, Baby Tree has launched a number of anti-epidemic protection tips and services. It has cooperated with Tinking FM as an uh, audio app in China, uh, and it has turned the book coronavirus prevention, uh, prevention manual into an audiobook so people can listen to it online. They invited, they, uh, invited some experts from the children's hospitals, uh, healthcare department, uh, some live uh, lectures to help parents with the protection questions were held. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, not, not mm, Mm, yes, because yes, it is a platform, but uh, there are many experiences you can learn from, from Baby Tree. So after this kind of uh, platforms, I think we must talk about some brands which is very important, like uh, a domestic uh, milk powder brand called Firmus. Actually, the new formats such as e-commerce, online shopping, and online services have played an important role uh, in, this, uh, in this period. Uh, we all know that. So on the one hand, um, 
infant milk powder began to decline in sales in traditional channels such as the supermarket, which is the main channel that people uh, buy the milk powder before. Uh, on the other hand, e-commerce and the comprehensive uh, mother and baby stores are emerging as a new sales channel for infant milk powder. And many milk powder manufacturers have put more energy from traditional channels to e-commerce and the comprehensive stores. So uh, for firms, the epidemic accelerated the consumption upgrade and the digital transformation of the infant milk powder industry. So in February and March of this year, the company has held, uh, has held 130,000 online events. Yes, 130,000 online events. This is a really big number and uh, it comprehensively launched live streaming of joint channels and stores and carried out 24 hour mother uh, and baby hotline. It's, it's like uh, whenever you have a question, even it's in the midnight, you can call it to get a, a, a proper uh, solution. So also some, some free online consultations, expert protection courses, and uh, there are activities to win free new powder. Uh, yes, this kind of policies were, uh, uh, were put forward. So eventually, uh, live streaming helped the online sales grow by 50 per, uh, 56% and new customers increased by 43%. Overall revenue increased by 32%. It was not uh, seriously impacted. It's not worth, it was not only impacted, but it has increased its sales. It has went. Uh, yeah, so after we talk about live streaming, I think there is an industry we cannot uh, ignore in live streaming in, that, uh, in live streaming area. Yes, it's about the early education. Uh, actually, the mother and baby market really has a big requirement for the early education. Yeah, so uh, this chart on the left, we can see uh, what kind of uh, what kind of requirements we have. So when did you start paying attention to early childhood education? We can see from, from the left chart, 7% uh, people, it started, uh, they started to think about early education before they pregnant. And 11% uh, of people, they think about it when they started to prepare to be pregnant. And uh, 32 people, when they're, during their pregnancy, they will think about uh, the, uh, the early education. So this is not a, really about the kids. We can see that this is about uh, like uh, your future and your own plan, because we can see uh, before you give you give baby a birth, uh, give uh, give a birth to the baby, 50 50 percent of people think that early education is very important. So we can see uh, actually whether it is offline or online, parents are required to invest the time. So not um, uh, if they do not then early education will lose its meaning. Uh, although we have paid much, much attention to it, it needs more, uh, more time, it needs more energy after you uh, enter these uh, this, this courses. After all, the most important thing in early education is parent-child interaction and establishing good parent-child relationship. But the truth is that it is impossible to uh, completely liberate parents offline, such as the sports, the picture, the books, the music, the dance. All parents need to participate in the whole process. So this is um, unbelievable and it is not possible. But parents do not have that much time. Yeah, so this is the truth. So during the coronavirus, parents have more time in home and this is a rough track that the family really become the most important scenarios in early childhood education delivery. And also the family home is the primary location for it. And for the main target audience, we have, we have all thought about that is, uh, the kids are the most important. Uh, the answer is no. The answer is that the parents are the most important. Yes. Uh, Basically, the parents are paying the money, of course. And the secondly, uh, because uh, it's like, uh, for example, online and early education, using the live streaming or even we shoot a video and then you can watch it whenever you want. It is really a good way to meet parents' needs and it can save time. 
because uh, normally a, a class can only have 45 minutes, but you will spend two hours on the way. It is really a waste of time. Uh, and for the main target audience, so all, oh, sorry, also many parents would be afraid that online education will let babies use uh, too much screens because they're too little, which will uh, really hurt their eyes and their health. Uh, we take the, the Carvey early childhood education as an example. Carvey spent a lot of time on the curriculum setting to solve this kind of problems. They started to set up early music art lessons in six to 12 months to form a 30 minute live class. According to the principle of combination of, uh, of dynamic and uh, like the, this, uh, they stay in the, they stay quiet to, to to uh, practice their, this kind of uh, skills. Class divided into six different sections. Longest section does not, uh, was not allowed to exceed eight minutes. And this uh, eight minutes, there will be live streaming, interactive games, and other teaching content. And also, they also uh, invested in and, uh, some, some technology things like the, the eye protection projectors to help the children um, to keep their eyes in, uh, in health. Um, but uh, we see it from a market, from, from its industry market side. We can see that during three to five years, it is just at the beginning. It won't attack the space of the offline early education organizations but it can exist as an ad to help with offline uh, early education more comprehensive after the coronavirus. And now uh, in this early education market, the players are not uh, so many, the companies are not so big. So uh, there are still big uh, space for players to enter this market. Yes, and last but not least is about the new, co uh, new content. Uh, the keywords is authoritative, uh, professional, and reliable. So firstly, we can see that uh, we're parents by parenting products. Uh, first, 71 people choose JD.com as their first priority, and then it's Tmall, and then it's Taobao. So uh, why JD is JD and Tmall can win in this, this kind of survey? Because the features are that they like the most authoritative platforms. Because JD is mainly focused on the high-end products and the digital products. So for the medical products and the infant products, uh, the parents will, would feel more safe, more uh, safer to buy products on JD.com. And also, uh, Timo is uh, in the same way. Uh, after, uh, also for the content platforms, which can uh, brands who want to put as a reference, the WeChat and the WeChat official accounts uh, are the most popular platform because 89% people choose that WeChat are their favorite. Uh, also the rest, there are many tips for parents to know how to grow a baby and how to address uh, some really small problems on the rat. So, but the problem is that there are too many ads on the rat and you really need to uh, take care uh, when you want to put in ads on the, on the red and you, you need to show your authority. So, uh, and uh, the second one, uh, the third one is Douyin. Douyin shows that the short video format is really going viral and people cannot live with it uh, in China. So you cannot ignore this, this live streaming trend, you should really make use of it. So, uh, there, there, is, uh, there is another way. Uh, per cotton, this is a Chinese domestic uh, mother and baby brands. It gives, new, it gives brands a new angle to help you to, to produce uh, the contents. Um, yes, this brand is focusing on baby and mother daily clothes by using pure cotton uh, and uh, also they produce the vibes, uh, the diapers. So they cooperated with Dr. Ding Xiang. It is the biggest uh, medical uh, social media accounts in China to let themselves more reliable. So do you remember this, uh, th 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 this account because we have mentioned it in the uh, last webinars. So this is also a content format which you can learn uh, because when you cooperate with some authority organizations, uh, it will make people like you are really safe and uh, you are really good for uh, baby's health. They will feel more uh, trust to, uh, to buy your products. So finally, here are the 
six actions to take now and in the future. So firstly, of course, revise your plan for China with live streaming, e-commerce, and more content related to Chinese culture in mind. It's like I have mentioned uh, the Chinese relationship, uh, the Chinese parent, and there are different kinds of requirements. So um, just uh, put your strategy in different angles when you enter China. And the second one is focus on the keywords, safe healthy, protection, and immunity. Uh, these are the words we have mentioned a lot in, the, uh, in tonight. And mother and baby brands have an advantage. Yes, because their products are already safer than similar, similar products outside the sector. So take full advantage of this. So the third one is pay more attention to parents, uh, especially mothers, need both physically and mentally. So have a clear target audience based on your product features, and you can explore your uh, you can explore your mind. It's not only about babies; it can also about mothers or even about fathers. So, and the first one is live streaming, cloud service, and building your own online community are the biggest trends now. So, like the baby train, the mama bong, and me, Mia are all good choices for you when you want to build a community, when you want to uh, put your brands. And uh, the fifth one is to cooperate with authoritative organizations to add credibility to your social media accounts and also pick specific platforms to target specific audience. Uh, we have mentioned like the Zhuhu target the research parents and Red talk some, uh, some, some, some play partner uh, parents. And last but not least, pay attention to people's anxieties around the topic of coronavirus and never use the topic simply to add attention. Uh, I think this kind of situation is really rare uh, in mother and baby uh, industries because uh, mother and baby industries really requires more uh, safe, safety and uh, trust. So people won't try this kind of things, but just uh, for, for reference and remind. So thank you, that's all for uh, this. Uh, my my part yes yeah thank you so much wendy i think that it was really insightful for all of you guys so now i suggest we actually move into our uh q and a session so while uh, you are texting it to us so let's just go through the questions which you submitted in advance so there was lots of questions about milk powder and also new formula i hope that girls actually go in very detailed uh, information about it so please let us know if you still have the question about it we will be happy to organize consultation or share new insights with you so and uh let's just quickly go again to like a broader picture so uh, we actually receive uh, a lot of questions about what kind of information mothers actually searched uh, when COVID-19 outbreak started so fun, uh, can you please tell us a little bit more about what the information they search and regarding baby needs and what actually was it about because we talk about like health and other things yeah 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 so um, basically, uh, if you remember, there's a graph uh, in our presentation. Basically, the physical health, the education, and uh, it's one of the most important things that people, uh, parents, looking for. And here, I uh, there also a research that during the COVID nineteen, and parents uh, pay more attention on this uh, the following information. And first is the uh, uh, as we said, the protective the, the things, the nappies, and because um, people, lots of parents, they are ran out of their store apps because of the lockdown and they can't buy it. And so um, they search for nappy, the replacement. Yes. And also the milk powder, the same situation as the nappy because they ran out of the, their stock. And then it's the protective tools, for example, the masks and etc. etc. to protect their uh, children um, from the outside environment and then it's a toys for that food for their uh, the children intelligence so basically they are locked down at home and they need to play, uh, play with their children and so um, uh, in, in, um, so basically in addition to the quality and safety of the product and uh, parents also uh, want the toys can 
somehow improve the, either the health, either the intelligence, the IQ, and such and of their children. And that is a food supplement, as we mentioned before, and th and that is a cause. So, um, in addition to food and the thing you use, um, the mom, mother, and fathers are also um, have. I uh, also pay attention on the clothes because you know, uh, the young generation parents have more fashionable and uh, um, sense than the older generation. So that thing is not uh, um, enough. You only focus on the daily use, but it's also enough. Uh, it's also important to focus on the aesthetic of the children during their improvement. Yes. Yeah, fine. As you're also like responsible for the research part in our yeah. team and just more consumer inside, we actually also received a question from uh, Wamsi. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the names incorrectly, but uh, the question is like, do you think that mothers in current situation are actually shifting uh, to more premium products because they want to have high quality and then they are ready to pay more so they're actually paying more to the luxury and like premium products or it's not so and to some extent i'd say yes so uh, especially in tier one and tier two cities so again as i said before the safety and the quality is the most top consideration parents care about and the premium um, products have the reputation in terms of these factors and moreover the also the uh, compared to the older generation the young parents have more consumption levels and they are more willing to spend money on the children yeah so uh, for for example there is a brand called Nanjun, um, which is a uh, amphitus Yes, so it, it, it's a premier brand under the Mi, Mi Johnson. Yes, so it's a milk powder, milk, powder, milk powder brand. Yes, so it's very expensive. And the sales of this brand in Q1 2020 increased a lot. So it accounts for around 45 or 46 uh, percent of the um, total sales of Mi Johnson in this category. But this number is 30% last year. So as you can see, it increased a lot. And not only this brand, the other um, premium brand, uh, premium nine of the milk powder also increased, keeps going this year. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, talking about like the premium products and brand names. So I'm sure that you also guys are interested. Uh, and we also received this question from Michael. What's actually the use of mothers in China on foreign products foreign brands regarding the infant care and maternity market yeah so um, two sides so basically a foreign brand has a reputation regarding the history the quality and safety etc etc and i see in the past um, parents should have the it's true that and uh, have more trust in the uh foreign brands and uh, in another situation is that and um, recently the Chinese domestic brand also increased and people, you know, uh, are more support uh, on this brand. And moreover, during the COVID-19 because of the um, lockdown, so the Daigo and the cross-border e-commerce all stopped. And also because the situation outside China right now, the largest domestic and central central all have doesn't perform well. So some um, parents need to, they have to return to other domestic brand or local brand to, because they are the necessities, they are run off their stocks. Yes, yeah, so, and this is a uh, opportunity or advantage of the domestic, domestic brand in this, uh, I would say in these years. Yes. So basically we can see that there are different opportunities for foreign brands and also for domestic brands. And actually because Wendy is responsible in our team for like different platforms and also the best practices and the case studies. So uh, Wendy, we actually have the question from Sumati about what's actually the most important things uh, on what mothers pay attention when they are looking for infant care products and brands. What actually brands need to communicate here? What is the yeah. essence of yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, first, I have to say about, uh, we, we will analyze it from two angles, it's about the value and also the product. First, about value, we have mentioned a lot tonight, it's about the immunity, uh, the cleanliness, and also the protection. It's like, uh, it has become the first priority of the parents. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, 
uh, people, uh, the parents maybe turn to buy more uh, the, the children masks and also the, the alcohol spray and the, the vibes and the, the hand wash things and uh, uh, it will keep this trend in after the coronavirus. Yes, yeah, so we have also mentioned it in the webinar just uh, uh, just a minute ago and uh, so uh, we will focus uh, on the, if, if, if brands can do this kind of cooperation, in this case it is really good but if it it's not possible. Uh, maybe you will in, uh, improve your cleanliness uh, standard and also to do make your uh, systems more transparent mm -hmm. and to make your process more transparent to make people mm, trust more on you. Uh, and the second, it is about uh, the the products. Uh, it's uh, it's like uh, be uh, compared with the coronavirus. Uh, so uh, before the coronavirus, uh, uh, now. Uh, almost half families, have, their income has decreased and uh, the most serious, I think it may be in, uh, decreased by 30%. So this is really a, a, a big number. And, uh, but uh, uh, during, the, during the coronavirus, we found that uh, the, the baby's consumption didn't decrease. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the mothers and the, par the parents are spending more on the baby's uh, consumption. Why? Uh, because the mothers are afraid of they cannot buy this kind of things, the diapers and the, 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 the milk powders anywhere uh, later. So they will buy much, much uh, more than they need. So in this case, uh, so they maybe decrease uh, the clothes, the baby's clothes and also the baby's toys. But uh, if the, uh, the coronavirus is keeping this trend and uh, maybe uh, yes, it may be back to some extent because now China's situation is getting much, much mm -hmm. better. So, uh, with the decrease of the family income, so it may directly affect the, the baby's consumption. It's like uh, the mothers will uh, consider to like something very irre uh, re replaceable, uh, like the shoes, the clothes, and also the toys, the snacks, uh, this kind of things. They will uh, make it um, like from, from a high-end product to a lower-end product, so to speak. Mm. Yes. It's actually very, very interesting. And now you told us a lot of about the trends, which I think, guys, you find also very, very insightful and actionable. But can you, because I mean, like, we understand that actually now it's more about like marketing promotions and adjusting and prepare the strategy for the rest of the year. So, uh, because we pay a lot of attention on the trends, yeah. can you please quickly tell us about new concepts which actually appeared on the uh, maternity and infant yeah. care market? Yeah, about new concepts. Um, yes, uh, I think there is, uh, Fan has mentioned it a little bit in her part and uh, maybe I want to just uh, grab a, a concept and to explore it more because I think it's very interesting. Uh, yes, because uh, in 2020, uh, there are many reasons and uh, there was a baby born pick. Uh, the first, the first reason is because the uh, is because the coronavirus people do not have many things to do at home, and the second reason is about that uh, there were some organizations started to predict uh, in 2020 there was a peak. Uh, it is not only the, the, the recently thing, but it's, I think it's in the 2018 or 2019 there is some some these kind of predictions. It is because in 2020 the post 90s are becoming 30s. And this kind of group people, uh, because they really uh, care about themselves more and they have a higher uh, education. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe they will uh, get married a little bit late, later than, than uh, the, the, people, uh, the people before. And uh, in this way, when they started to get married, they will start to, uh, to consider to have a baby because of their own uh, physical condition. Mm -hmm. So in this one, 2020 is also a good chance. And also there is a very Chinese culture, culture thing, of course it's uh, 2020 uh, sounds really similar to love you, love you in Chinese. It's That's like cool. uh, 2020 uh, and uh, So uh, in this way, uh, Chinese people would like to have a baby in this year because it's, uh, it's really lovely and it's really a good sign for Chinese people. Uh, and uh, for the second child policy in China also, after several, uh, several years adjustment, uh, like the, the, the family who has only a child, they will start to uh, want to have uh, the second child. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this way, 
uh, the 2020 there will be a really baby born peak. Um, and uh, in, uh, because of the peak, there, of course, there will be much more consumption of the mother and baby markets. Uh, the, there is a very, there is also another very interesting is we have talked about many, many industries that like the early education and uh, uh, like the, the platforms, but we haven't talked about a thing called postpartum, uh, postpartum care. This mm -hmm. is a very Chinese culture thing because I think this is, or very Asian culture because it, it is not very common in the Western countries. I think this will be yeah. useful for, for our <laughs> yeah, listeners yeah, around yeah. the world. Yeah, so um, because in China, in China uh, the mothers give birth to a baby and the first month, uh, you really need to be taken care of. of. Uh, and stay at home. Yeah, stay at home. And uh, uh, it's like there are this kind of babysitters and this kind of centers for, uh, especially for mothers to, to live in. And they will, the babysitters will not only take care of the babies, but also they will take care of the mothers. Uh, because uh, in China, many people think that uh, it's not only about recovery, it's about like if you, before you have some disease and uh, uh, during, during this period, you will, if you were good, really good taken care of, you will uh, get better even in your before disease. So, uh, and also another thing is the, uh, the postpartum service is a very, um, uh, how, how to say it, is, is a, a, the mi mi minority of the offline service uh, was not seriously disrupted during the coronavirus. Why? Because the uh, postpartum is, cannot be canceled. And uh, uh, the, because some, some good babysitters and some, mm, some good this kind of centers must be ordered uh, before uh, half, half year. Whoa. So yes, this really kind of, yeah. And so this kind of things is, um, I think this uh, this industry trend also show uh, value change in China. It's like people uh, care about more, uh, more about themselves, and people care more about uh, the, uh, the 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 mother's value. So in this way, I think this as we can see uh, this kind of change show that the market change uh, the market space is really big, and uh, some some products, uh, some, uh, some 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 friends combination is yes really required in this. Yeah, as, as guys, you see that like it's actually awesome year for the baby birth, like it's 2020 and then it's like a second chat and there's also like staying at home <laughs> anyway. So we are really expecting the baby uh, boom and also increasing the number of the consumption. And during this webinar, we actually talked quite a lot about different platforms and the successful case studies on actually these platforms. So uh, because we are also like, I think that for our listeners, it's important to understand what they need to pay attention during their strategies. So I actually have one question for you, uh, Wendy, and also one question for you, Fan. So uh, what actually find the best communication uh, channels uh, for parents and which actually like good for marketing if your targeted consumer group is parents and kids what's actually these best communication channels i'd say social media of course the most important but also the marketing on e-commerce yeah. can you just please give yeah, us a yeah. few <laughs> names of these platforms yeah. Yeah, so, so guys yeah. let us know so what to re refer regarding the social media platforms uh, the most essential is the vertical par parenting vertical apps and also as well as a WeChat. So basically, these platforms are... Is it Baby Tree and Mia or yeah, yeah, some yeah, yeah, other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby Trees and etc. etc. Cetera, et cetera. And these platforms are not only to marketing, so often the information and give recommendation, and also serves as a community. So you know, in China, community is very important. So for example, on WeChat, there are lots of WeChat groups, the mom groups, they share their knowledge and they record their children's daily life in their communities. And so some brands, lots of brands, no, lots of brands also have this kind of WeChat consumer groups. And mm -hmm. so uh, they can engage with the consumers directly in these groups and also the um, they can get the user experience and also the consumers can um, offer the content so basically it's the uh, pictures videos of their children and this is also a good value to the uh, brand content marketing
Yes, mm -hmm. and in addition to this, I see uh, I said the e marketing on e-commerce platforms. So basically, I just uh, we just did some research uh, and we get the interviews, and we found that to some categories, it's interesting that people just saw the product at their friend home or at the uh, at the street, and they search the product on the e-commerce platforms and they bought it and they buy it. So the process very short and it's very quick. So it's very important um, um, for you to marketing on e-commerce platforms. So basically, for example, the live streaming, the internal marketing on uh, Timor, and also the keyword buyers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the categories and it depends on the specific products. But these two um, channels are very important. Mm -hmm. yes. Talking about e-commerce, Wendy, can you yeah. please also tell us what's actually the most effective sales channels for maternity and infant care products, which actually our attendees today for the webinars need to, to plan during their strategy for child? Yeah, uh, we have just to talk about JD.com and Timo, they're end up really the best choices. And if you want to more uh, more channels, uh, Fan have mentioned that the, the, the vertical platforms like uh, the Baby Tree, the Mia are very important. And now there is another thing is about the, the comprehensive stores. Uh, because uh, some offline comprehensive stores, like there are all kinds of brands, all kinds of uh, products in this kind of stores. Um, it is why it is attractive. It is the same reason with uh, the, the, the vertical platform. Of course, you can solve your problems at the same time. So uh, this, uh, or even the community mother and baby stores, this is also uh, the, the future trend mm -hmm. is not only about uh, the online, but also you need to pay attention to the offline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I see that we are actually like now close the time. So uh, just the last question from you guys, and which is also important for all of us to understand. And I think that fine as a guru of our strategies and market research can tell us uh, about it. So uh, basically now China is actually going back to normal, so-called new normal as it's like back, back into the, the period and recovering. To the, to the same level as it was before the COVID-19 outbreak. So do you think that once everything will fully like, normal, as we can so call it, do you think that mothers will still pay so much attention to the baby health, to the quality of the products and also early education, or they will just change it to more outdoor activities and then they will just like, think more about the physical development? Yeah, of course, parents will. So, of course, I always said before that health and the health and safety is the most important things in their uh, in the children's development. So, of course, those we mentioned before the early childhood education and the um, health care, etc., 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 will still and. Um, I think we will still continue to be developed in China. So, for example, we say the health supplement. Yes, and um, let's take a example as a health supplement. And this industry, I say, will definitely increase in coming years. And so, for example, um, let's see the infant food supplement uh, in China has uh, quite lower than that in Western country. So. Um, for example, the ratio of infant supplement food, uh, supplement food supplement, uh, uh, and uh, the milk powder in Western country is one to one, and in Hong Kong and Macau is almost one to four, but in mainland China it's one to seven. And so the, you can see the market it totally uh, have huge potential on that, and also um, yes. Yeah, I think that it's actually a good answer and yeah, good to finalize it on this uh, part of our webinar. So we are run out of time, but thank you once again, the guys, for joining us today. So I hope that you find it insightful and just quickly summarize what we talk about. So uh, basically, we can see that now market is actually shifting to more like conscious consumption and more about the health and actually how to protect children and more about the food supplements and also like 
that mothers also start playing more important roles. And as uh, more people from the post 90s and 95 generation becoming parents, so they're searching more information online on the uh, social media platforms on e-commerce. That's why it's actually important to pay attention to what's actually happening on digital space in China. And uh, after this uh, webinar, we will also send all of you a follow-up email with a video recording and the slides. Please let us know if you want to have the consultation or the phone call about your strategy with our experts today, Fan Lu, who is actually the head of the strategy project and Chotan, and also Wendy, who is a social media marketer and very knowledgeable about the most recent trends and insights on Chinese social media platforms, especially focused on uh, mothers and babies like Baby3, Mia, and many, many others. We hope that you really enjoyed and have a good day ahead. Bye.